What's up guys? Welcome to day five of Vlogmas. It is Thursday, December 5th. It's so late. Um, it's 10.17. I got home late from work today. Oh, like day three. So we made dinner, which was delicious. I get to eat. And then we played a game of Ticket to Ride because he loves that game. He always kicks my butt in it. Um, but yeah. I'm really tired and I need to do advent calendars. And I said I was gonna open or create our Pokemon calendar. So I wanna do that because I want to keep a promise. So why don't we do that? We'll, we'll create our Pokemon advent calendar and then um, and then we'll open our, the rest of our calendars. So that sounds like a plan. This will be a pretty short and sweet vlog. Okay, so you guys saw a couple days ago I got this. And what I want to do, which I'm not quite sure how well, I don't, I think I need a Sharpie to be honest, is I'm going to open this and then I want to put, now this is only for 12 days. So what day is it I said? Five. Six, seven, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So basically I'm going to open up five packs of Pokemon cards to get us through today. And then we're still going to have another, what, like seven packs that we need to open before we get to start punching this thing. And I told Amy that she could come over one day and punch one of these. So I'm going to I'm gonna also keep my promise to her and make sure that she gets to come over. So this box is pretty straightforward. I was going to get two of these so I could do the whole advent calendar. But um, basically, I don't know exactly how it works to be honest. Here. It's a box that you open, like all of my other subscription boxes. And then this is just, what is this? This is all it is. So they cut out holes from some thin cardboard. And then they just have one giant continuous piece of paper. And then you just have these little slots. So this thing is actually reusable. Um, I can keep all of this. What I will need to redo is this. So it was like, what, like this? So I'm going to have to figure out probably how to, actually I could just keep putting new pieces of paper over this thing, can't I? Isn't that how it works? Anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to open up Pokemon packs and put them in here. Not open up the packs, but put packs in here. Um, and so we'll do 12 in here and then 7 will just have to be hanging out without um, getting to be in the surprise box. Again, probably something that I could have made. But probably something that I don't really want to take the time to make. So I'm glad I bought one. It'll be fun to punch it once we start punching it. Um, but I think opening Pokemon card packs in general is fun for me. So whether I'm getting them out of this punchy hole box or I'm just opening them, I think I'm fine. Okay, so I read all your comments. <laughs> and apparently there was a, which makes sense, there was a, what did you guys say, a Bulbasaur that I totally just like walked right by. Or there was like a stack of them. So I'm going to have to try to go back to the Target and... Um, see if I can find the Bulbasaur because basically what this is is these tins I love these tins there's two different sets of these tins if you watched me open these basically each the darker colors have five and these are you know you got Mewtwo, Mew, Dragonite, um, Pikachu and Vulpix and Charizard and then you have kind of like your base set which is like your original your OG Pokemon your Pikachu, Squirtle, Charmander and then is that Eevee? And then there was a Bulbasaur, which totally makes sense. Oh, I see how this is. It's like connected. Is that what's happening? Oh, I see. Oh, I see it. It's a continuous. Oh, wait. How is. Oh, look. Wait, how does this work? Is it like this? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Gosh, look at that. It's it's just one continuous scene. That makes sense. Okay, I have to definitely get the Charizard. I like these little tins. They're very cool. So basically, I'm going to use the Pokemon packs from this. So each of these comes with two packs, one metallic Pokemon coin, and a Pokemon art card showing the art from this tin. Boom. So let's go ahead and open all of these tins and get the packs out. And then we'll just keep the tins as our collectibles. These are such cool tins, you guys. I'm very excited about it. All right, I don't know about this angle, but we're just going to go with it. Um, actually, first, you know what? I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to pull all of the plastic off of these so you don't have to watch me do it. Because that's kind of boring. Although, it's pretty simple. Actually, never mind. You know what? We'll just pull the, the plastic and then we'll open these. So this is our Charizard tin. Can you see it? And then we're going to open it up. 
Ow. Oh, I thought it was a hinge tin. Okay, it's not. It's a completely pop the cover open. Okay, so this is what you see. You have, we have our metallic coin right here. It's a blue metallic coin. We have our art showing the tin art. And then we got two packs. Oh, we got a Steam Siege and a Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion. Um, so the Crimson Invasion's cool. Steam Siege is super old, so that one's not as exciting. All right, we're going to put this back in here. I think what I'm going to do is put everything back in the tins for right now. I was going to say, Jackson has another birthday party. I wonder if I could use some of these Pokemon coins as part of the goodie bag, but I'll think about that. Okay. Ooh, I like this coin. This one's neat. I think I like it because it's kind of purplish. I don't even know how it's supposed to go, but that's cool. Here's our art card. You think we're going to get the same packs? Oh, I bet you we are. In every single one of these. Sun and Moon, Crimson Invasion, Steam Siege. Do you think that's how it's going to be? That's kind of boo-boo if that's what's happening. But I can imagine they probably, yeah, these are probably all just how they get rid of packs that they have. Okay, so here's our coin on this one. Cool. Art card. Yeah. I hope that those packs, these tins, the other ones have different packs in them. Just to switch it up a little bit. That would be kind of cool if we did. I am a little bit disappointed that these are all going to have the same types of packs. But I guess that's kind of cool. I can collect the whole set of something. Or go for it at least. Like that. Art card. And Steam Sheet Siege and Crimson Invasion. And then the last one from this set is our Dragonite. Metallic coin. Art card. He looks so sad in this one. And then our two packs. Same thing. Okay, so we're gonna set those to the side. And then let's go ahead and open these up. And I'm hoping that these have something different than Crimson Invasion and Steam Siege. That's the only thing that sucks about these. Like, this was a good deal because it's $9 for the tin. So in theory, you're paying, usually you pay $4 per pack, four to four nineteen. Um, per pack and then the tin is worth probably at least a dollar if not more so you're getting a good deal except for you're getting cards that are older they're not the new packs you know yes well at least these are different okay so we have our art card and then our coin and the packs that we got from here are evolution and burning shadows now here's the thing I'm not a huge fan of the evolutions packs <laughs> but you can't win them all right you win some you'll lose some so, we're just going to be happy that they're not Steam Siege. I guess I would pick Evolutions over Steam Siege. I don't really know. Here's a Squirtle box. There's a dent in this box. I wonder if I dropped it. Okay, so we're getting some of the same coins. I really like this coin. This one's one of my favorite coins. Why isn't it focusing? There we go. I like that coin. Here's the artwork. And then we got Evolutions and Sun and Moon Burning Shadows again. So I guess if you guys are interested in getting these, just know that you're going to kind of get, these are the kinds of packs that you're going to get. Just in case you're, I just don't want you to be surprised. Ah. Oh, we got another one of these. At least it's my favorite one. Art card. Burning Shadows Evolution. And then here's our last tin. We have Eevee and that Chansey. Oh man, I just got like a million of the same coins just now. So our art card and then of course Burning Shadows and oh, Evolution. So these are all the cards that came out of the tins. And in addition to the tins, I also got these. Oh, look, I forgot I had all these. Um, I don't know if I show. Oh, I didn't show you guys these because they told me I couldn't film. Um, so a couple weeks ago, I went to Target. Actually, they're over here. Let me show you. When I went to Target with Amy, I'll have to do an unboxing video of these. I got, um, well, I got these Asteroids. These look delicious. I love Flaming Hot Cheetos. But I also, ha they had these mystery 
ornaments. So this is Harry Potter, and these are from Hallmark, but they sent them at Target. I love the, the ornament section from Target. It's one of my favorites. So they had some of those. They, I, they didn't have too many, so I just bought what they had, which was five, six. And there's how many different ones? Six to collect. Then they had a couple of these princess ones, so I bought those because I hadn't seen those. And then when I went to get the Pokemon cards, I was looking for that advent calendar. And then they had some Marvel ones of these. So I got those. I got a bunch of those. So I'll probably have extra of these because, well, hopefully if I don't get duplicates. And then they had one Star Wars. And honestly, I don't think I got it, but I hope I get that Porg because how cute is that Porg? Like that Porg is pretty cute, right? Right? So I'm going to put all of these. I'll do an unboxing video for these for the main channel because I think that would be pretty cool. Those were um, $4 each. Okay, so in addition to the tins, I got these two packs because I wanted, I definitely wanted at least a couple of the new packs. So there's Cosmic Eclipse and uh, Unified Minds, and then it came with these two, you know, the special cards and then two of our coins. I guess all the coins are metallic. They try to make that really sound special, but I'm pretty sure they're just regular. So we're going to open this up and then use these packs too for our advent calendar. Okay, so we have our Unified Minds. I like this pack the best. And then we have our Cosmic Eclipse, and I like this one. Look at this. I love this pack. It's like my favorite. Um, we got a Viv Vicavolt, and then we got a Victini. And I don't know. I don't play Pokemon TCG anymore, or I haven't been. So I'm going to go ahead and share these code cards. Let me share this one first. So there's the first one. And then here's the second one. So for those of you who are still playing Pokemon TCG online, you guys can hopefully get um, some good cards from there. Let's fold these so we know that we gave those away. And yeah, so let's go ahead and put together our advent calendar. Um, I probably will use this for Jackson's goodie bags. First, what I'm going to do is we are on day five right now. So I'm going to pick out five packs that we'll open in this video right now to catch up. So why don't we do, I'm not going to do the good packs though yet because I want to save those. Not save them for last, I just don't want to waste all of them because I only have three of each of them. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, and we'll do two of the evolutions because those are kind of the more, actually no, I'm sorry. Let's do uh, two of the Steam Siege because I had more of these ones. I had five of these ones. So. so right now we have basically three of each of these except for this one now. We're going to have um, one additional. So we have like four of those. Um, and so what we should do, let's work backwards. And actually, you know what I'm going to do? Oops, I don't want to break this. When I put the cards in here, I think when I label these, I'm not going to go in a row. I'm just going to do random. So once we put the cards in and then we number them, we're really going to kind of forget what packs are in them. So let's just go ahead and drop some packs in. I'm going to do Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's right. So these ones, okay, so sorry, uh, spoiler alert, I put all the new packs in this box so that, um, so that we had, you know, some more fun packs. And so I'm going to close this thing. And once we close this thing, that's a wrap. We can't change it. We cannot change it. Once it's done, it's done. Okay, so tomorrow, I'm not going to do it tonight because I don't have a um, Sharpie. I'm going to number these, and I'm just going to number random, starting with, what, 13? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Yeah, so starting with 13, we'll just do random ones, and then we can punch it out, although my hand is kind of big, but maybe we'll punch it with our fingers, we'll like that, and then we'll take them out. So Pokemon card packs are in there, so we'll label that tomorrow. These will be the ones that we kind of switch off, and tomorrow I'll label these, I'll number these. But these are the ones that we have to open to catch up. So we're going to open these five packs right now. This is officially going to start our advent calendar for today. 
So we have our five packs. Let's play some catch up. Um, I'm going to open these weird steam siege packs first because these are the, my, not my favorite and not necessarily super looking forward to these packs. Code card's white. I don't know if that still means anything, but there's the code card. These cards feel really, really wide compared to other Pokemon cards. It's kind of weird. Um, I don't know what the card trick for these was. I think it's three for these ones. These ones are a little bit different. I might have missed that up, though. Oh, I didn't. I saw something good. Okay. Well, that's nice. Sorry. Spoiler alert. Got something good. All right. Let's see it. Rapidash. Nestle. I like that one. Shawan. Rufflet. Tangela. Krogunk. So our reverse hollow is Nidorino, and our rare card is... Ooh, we got a Gardevoir. Gardevoir EX. Not bad. Not bad. Cool. All right, let's do the second pack of Steam Seas that we got. Ooh, I, I smacked the camera. Oh, green code card, so we didn't get anything. Here's the um, code for you. Here we go. We got a Clef Clefiki. Wait, my camera is tilting down now. Okay, Clefiki, Captivating Pokepuff. Fluffy, Nidorino, Clauncher. I like water Pokemon. Fletchling, Hop Hip, Sneasel. Our reverse hollow is a Steelix Spirit Link, which we just got that in the last pack. And then our rare card is an Amoongus, which it looks like a Pokeball mushroom. All right, let's go with Evolutions next. And I think this code card is man these cards feel so wide but it might be that i just haven't really messed with pokemon cards in a while like that could be it there's the code card i think this is four nope it's three it's three okay here we go we got a magmar i like these cards because they remind me of old school cards but then at the same time it's like well i don't want old school cards like i have those you know but these are super old school Okay, our reverse hollow is Mew, which is super cool. I've never seen this card before, to be honest. So it's I guess it's not that basic. And our rare card, ooh, we got a Slowbro EX. That's not bad, guys. We already got two good cards. That's not bad. I'm not, I'm not against it at all. And I like this reverse hollow Mew. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about this so far. Okay, so now let's do Crimson Invasion, and or should we do? Sh I think Burning Shadows is older than Crimson Invasion, so let's do Burning Shadows first, I suppose. Okay, we got a green code card, so I'm going to say that we probably didn't get anything great. Here is our code card. Is it three, two, four? Four? I think it's four. I go with four. Oh, wow, these cards feel so weird in my hand. Metapon, Mana, Electabuzz, Hoot Hoot. Tangela, Dupider, Inkay, Ralts, our reverse hollow is a Caterpie, and our rare card is a Ledian, and it's a regular rare. Okay, last pack for today. I love Pokemon, Pokemon cards. I forgot how much I did. Crimson Invasion. Ah, green code card, so again, probably nothing. Here is the code. And we're going to do, was it four? All right, let's do it. Tickers P. Alolan Geodude. Okay, reverse hollow is a ghastly, and our regular rare is a Houndoom. Houndoom. So all in all, not too bad. Out of five packs, we ended up with two good cards. Um, this is perfect because I actually think I need to, for Jackson's second birthday party, I'm going to make some more Pokemon card packs so I could potentially put these in. This one's really cool. It's not the textured cards because these are from the older sets, but I really do like this one a lot. I might have to keep this one. And it's a basic, which is cool because that means you can use it without having, I guess that's a basic too. Like you don't need any like evolutions or anything. Is that how it works? I'm not sure, but... That's a really good um, attack to have for three waters, a hundred. Well, I guess that one's even better. Discard an energy attached to this Pokemon. Okay. Anyways, there's our Pokemon stuff. I'm going to clean this stuff up so we can get our advent calendars, which are over there. Okay. 
We're gonna do this pretty short and sweet because I'm real. I'm like really struggling right now. I'm so tired. Um, Star Wars. We're gonna start with Star Wars. This one's my favorite one, so I'm excited about this. And I think we might get some BB-8 socks. So, oh god, I'm not gonna be able to open this. I don't want to rip it. And you, I did use a knife last year, but I don't have a knife anymore. So I don't want to rip it. Uh, I guess I can just look at it one more time and then we can rip it. All right. Because, oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Ow! It ripped anyways. Okay, here's our first pair of socks. Oh, these are cool. We got some BB-8 socks. They're light blue color. And they have little BB-8s. I love those. That's amazing. I love BB-8. Oh, man. Okay, cat calendar, which has turned into Chris's calendar, to be honest, because I've given her every pair of cat socks that we've gotten. But the third day is, you know you're in trouble when they call you by your full name. That is so true. So true. Ow. Okay. <laughs> so this pair of socks, oh, these are cute. They're gray socks with a cat, a black cat on them. They're gray and pink. And, oh, he's playing with toilet paper. Oh, my God, that's so funny. Okay, so that's pair number two. Those will go to Chris. And the last pair we have, I, I realized the last time I opened these ones, I was making a reference comment about how much bigger the Nickelodeon socks were, and that's because these are men's sizes, just a heads up, just in case you didn't catch that in the beginning. Um, the other two are women's sizes. Okay, we got cat dog, and these are going to be ankle socks. So we have our ankle socks. Oh, I like the color scheme with the triangles. It's very 90s. Okay, so those are our socks for today. Not too bad. Oop. I, I actually really like these cat dog socks. I wasn't a huge fan of cat dog, but I like the color scheme of them, and I like the BB-8 socks. All right, advent calendar time for toys. We have our Harry Potter Funko advent calendar. Day number five is, is this Professor McGonagall? Yes, it is, in her dress robes. I mean, I, oh, I know she looks old. Maggie Smith is old, but they always make her eyes in toys look so crazy. Like... She doesn't look old. She just looks like she's been doing stuff she's not supposed to do. You know? Okay, that one's pretty cool. I like that one. Put that back in there. All right, next we have Marvel. This is Marvel number one because I don't know which one this is. We're going to go day five. And we got Spidey. So there we go. We have Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever a Spider-Man can. That's not the song. I just like to, to sing it that way. Why is this not focusing? Focus, focus, focus. Okay, there we go. So we got Spidey. Oh my God, my camera is just struggling right now. It is struggling. What's happening? You're just gonna have to see it from back here, okay? Okay, Spidey, that's pretty cool. I can't imagine that they have a variant of Spidey, so I'm assuming that this is gonna be the same one. Just kidding. I eat my words. I eat my words because this one has a black Spidey. So this must be the GameStop one. So, so far we've already gotten three variants. I thought they only have four different variants. So if that's the case, then we've basically already almost gotten, because we had the Red Hulk and then we had the Gold Iron Man. So there's going to only be one more variant, I guess. That's weird. There's so many days left. Okay, last but not least, we have our Lego Harry Potter advent calendar. We are on day number five. So this one, let's see what we're going to build. What is it? Ooh, it's the Gryffindor flag. Oh. I wonder if these flags are going to be the easiest build because that was probably the easiest thing that I've built from this advent calendar so far. So we have our Gryffindor color flags. There's just this one extra piece. Very nice. We'll throw those back in there. When we're done with everything, we can make a cool scenery like this. This will be so cool. So cool. All right, guys. That is everything that I have for you today. I'm so sorry. This is, it was weirdly a long vlog, but it's kind of a short vlog because we didn't really do anything, and I apologize for that. I'm just so tired. I'm so tired, and I'm very excited to go to bed. So, I'm going to put these away. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me on my Vlogmas adventure. It's so up and down. It's such a wide range of emotions because it's 
some days I have some really cool things planned and some days I'm just at work all day and then I come home and I play Ticket to Ride and then I get excited to go to bed because I'm so tired. Um, which I feel like is real life. Like that's life, right? Where you're just like exhausted a lot of the time. Anyways, I appreciate all of you guys' support. Um, thank you guys so much. I... Not that this matters to you guys, but you guys know when I made the jump for oh, I mean everyone who's watching my vlog channel right now, I feel like you guys are just like legitimate supporters of me personally So uh, last year or at whatever point I made this channel I made the decision to try to make a separate channel to um, Post all of my vlogs, which is a scary thing because obviously I have a fairly decent sized main channel and by creating a second channel I'm taking a lot of probably maybe potentially views that it could have gotten away from let's say my vlogmas series but at the same time I feel like there's some people who really just don't want to watch me unbox things all the time although this is all I'm doing in the vlogmas series is unboxing things but then there's some people who just like want to see my life you know and I just thought it was cool and a way easier to find vlogs when I had a separate channel and so it's something I've always wanted to do I made the jump to do it obviously that was also when I made the jump to take a break from YouTube so it was challenging and it's been challenging because you know this this channel doesn't have as many um, people on it but one of the things I can say is even though I don't have that many subscribers the views versus subscribers it seems like a majority of my subscribers are watching so it's kind of cool because like on my nerdy noob channel I have what like 67,000 subscribers or something and I get like 3,000 views on a video that means that that whatever the percentage of that is it's not that many people who are actually subscribed watching my video so for those of you who are subscribed to this channel life with nerdy noob and the ones of you and those of you who are watching my videos thank you so much thank you from the bottom of my heart this channel is a slow growth channel but it's it's kind of the channel that I I really just it's like me like it's what I get to do it's stuff that I get to show you that I like to do and I'm really excited about it so thank you guys so much for all of that I appreciate it greatly and uh, yeah I just wanted to say that alright guys I'm you can tell my tired eyes are happening because I'm really tired so I'm gonna go to bed but I hope you guys have have a great day and I will see you guys tomorrow tomorrow just a heads up is another birthday party so it's Maddie's birthday tomorrow and we're going to another arcade which is going to be super cool so I'll bring you guys along with me and I'll show you guys some of that that's the one with the Toreba claw games it's really cool okay I'll see you guys later bye